Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty's Side. Thank you for joining me today, I really appreciate it. We have a little article here from, let me bring it down a little bit, where is it? Neuroscience-news.com. First actual <laughs> experience influences women's desire and future SEX desire. Damn. So this kind of plays into the no hymen, no diamond kind of thing. Because the first experience is going to keep keep it going on for the rest of her life. So let's see, uh, let's see what it has to say. It's not a very long read. So um, for most people, having sex for the first time is a meaningful and memorable rite of passage. Sure. But Diana per Paraguine, a UTM doctoral candidate in psychology, recently discovered that the experience has lasting impacts on a heterosexual woman's sexual desire later in life. Conventional wisdom tells us women have a weaker sex drive than men. That's wrong. That the libido, libido gap is large. Wrong. And it's stable across the lifespan because women are wired to fundamentally want sex less than men. Um, Paragine? Paragine? <laughs> Along with fellow U of T researchers, not going to say it, not going to say it, and professors blah, blah, deta detailed their findings in the study, a learning experience, enjoyment at sexual debut, and the gender gap in sexual desire among emerging adults was recently published in the Journal of Sex Research. The study included 838 uh, heterosexual adults, many from the UTM campus, and found that women only differed from men in their sex and their desire for partnered sex if their first experience of sex wasn't an enjoyable one. That is, if their, quote, first time was lacking in orgasm. Hmm. Women compared to men were half as likely to report being satisfied at first intercourse and about eight times less likely to have an orgasm, she said, adding that women who had an orgasm the first time they had sex were more interested in partnered sex and their current levels of desire for it were equal to men's. Interesting. She says this suggests that if first experiences are powerful lessons, first intercourse is no exception. Mm -hmm. It may serve as a learning experience for many and an important one for developing expectations that sex can be enjoyable and uh, beliefs that we deserve and are entitled to enjoy it. The study also found that men's first sex experience of sex had no apparent effect on their current levels of sexual desire. So you're saying men and women are built differently. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thought of that? Rather than really speaking to fixed gender differences in sexual desire, our findings raise the possibility that a sexual debut lacking an orgasm may be a common part of women's sexual social socialization or sexual activity may be disincentivized. She says it's a sexual debut that's more frustrating than is rewarding. This sounds like it's... <laughs> I haven't read this. Sounds like it's saying men's fault. <laughs> I didn't have an orgasm on my first... Sexual encounter, man's fault. Jesus. She notes that previous research has shown that men are more likely than women to suffer from problems of high sexual desire, while women are more likely to have problems of low sexual desire, and that the desire gap between healthy men and women persists across adulthood, perpetuating the myth that women have a naturally weaker sex drive than men. She says she wanted to conduct this research because she wondered whether women's lower sexual desire might be better explained by their lack of enjoyment during their first experience with sexual intercourse rather than by their gender. Previously, there was this idea that sexual desire was like hunger or thirst that originates internally and emerges, emerges spontaneously. But obviously now we're understanding that it is more dynamic and responsive to experience and that rewarding sexual experiences shapes our sexual expectations. Ultimately, she hopes that the study, which demonstrates that lower sexual desire among women may be due to an exper experiential difference rather than a gender difference 
inspires other research into the gender gap of sexual desire. She adds that the research also has an important implications for sex education, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I do think this kind of work could bring us closer to sex education interventions that facilitate healthy sexual development in the holistic sense of the word. Adding that the research also illustrates that first sexual intercourse experience itself might be a source of sex education. We don't have to acknowledge the real life hands-on experience of young men and women with sex, which may be the most instructional of all. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to learn what you like until you try it, I guess. But, I mean, this... Look, men and women are different. We're wired differently. We're built differently. And I think every woman I've talked to about their first time, none of them had orgasms the first time. So, I don't know. And they, they didn't have the orgasm the first time they had sex but they wanted lots of sex later on when they're you know my age or younger and i don't know i don't know what this says about that but yeah i mean it seems like if that first time that they do it man it kind of imprints on them and yeah and then, you know, the more and more guys that they're with, oh, this was in 2022. I mean, that's still kind of recent. It just goes to show, I think there's more to that of like the less bodies you have, ladies, the better it is, the more fulfillment you're going to get out of all this stuff. So anyway, I'd like to know what you guys think. Please leave a comment down below. I'd really appreciate that. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I love you all. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.